So what we're going to do now is start to create layers. Our layers are going to be nested under our layer properties and we're going to be using a set of layers to keep um, different lines, different colors, different line weights, um, and different objects throughout our drawing on separate what we call layers so that way we can control these layers we can turn things on and off we can freeze it lock it and we can manipulate our drawing as we would in the workplace so what we're going to start off today is um, we're going to start with a new drawing we're going to create a, a new drawing and we're going to create these layers and then we're going to save this as a master drawing so to start off you should have a sheet of paper that has your layers specified uh, that you're going to need to create. Um, as we look at this list, layer 0 is already embedded into AutoCAD. That is um, a layer that you cannot delete or change. Uh, we, I don't recommend drawing on layer 0. We just keep that there and um, we're not going to move it forward. We're, we won't be doing any of our drawing on layer 0. The rest of these lines, um, or layers, are going to be used as we start to get into different types of drawings. So they're going to all have their special need. We won't use them all at once, but when we do need them, um, they'll be there and they'll already be loaded in your, your template drawing. So to start off, um, keep this sheet handy because you're going to be typing these names and assigning the color and the line type and line weight when we get to that point. So. Um, let's start off on creating the actual layers so on your home ribbon you have two locations um, to to look and work with the layer pro the layers so we can access our layer properties by clicking on the layer property box and oops there we go and this is where we can type in our layers and, and create that in this area so click on your layer properties box. The new uh, create new layer is this button right here at the top. It looks like there's um, like sheets of papers um, there, and it has like a little star there to um, indicate that that is our new layer uh, button. This one uh, right here is your new layers from a uh, VP Frozen, and we'll come back to this one. This one is where you delete a layer. And this one is when you want to set a layer current. So we're going to start off just by creating a new, new layers. You're going to click on that. You're going to type in the layer name. So the uh, center lines. Then we're going to come over to the color. You're going to click on color. All of the colors are going to be uh, selected out of here. When you click on the color, you'll see the name up here down in the box. As to if you pick up here and click on one of those colors, they're not really the, the, our standard colors. Um, they all have numbers with it, but I need for you to make sure that you're assigning these colors right here because later on some of our other drawings and things that we use, other equipment we use, are going to be based off of these standard colors. So you select the color and then the line type. So the line types are going to be um, like so, um, continuous lines, object lines, uh, center lines, hidden lines, phantom lines, those type of lines are going to be loaded in this area. However, when you select on this dialog box here, you will see that only continuous is loaded. So we do have to go in and actually load the line type. So we're going to click on um, the button here. We're going to scroll through. We're going to find center. It's just center. Um, there's several other different center lines but those are just they have different scales we just want to keep with the regular center for today so once you click on center and you load it now you select it highlight it again and hit the OK button so that's going to load that there the line weight for the center line layer is default if we do want to change it this is where we would select a different line weight so what the line weight is is the actual thickness when you go to print your drawing you'll have different uh, thicknesses of drawing so it's just like if you were switching up a different pencil so you're just going to continue to do this um, you're going to go in and just type up all of the layers and uh, just make sure you're keeping with the layers that I have assigned and continue um, creating um, you'll see like right now when I create a new layer it's pulling the information from the previous one so if you happen to notice that 
um, that is normal. So I'm on construction. I'm going to switch construction to um, the black. All right, so the black and, and the white are um, interchangeable because sometimes people have a black background, so therefore you would want a white line. If you have a white background, you would want a black line. So AutoCAD uses um, the color black and white interchangeably. So if this screen was black, that would appear as a white box. So just be aware of that. Line type is continuous. And then we hit OK. Um, and that is it for the construction. At this point, if you wanted to just go ahead and create um, a bunch of new layers and then just click on them and type on them, you could do that. You could go in here and edit the um, edit the layers as you're creating them. So I would I could click on rename and then type in cutting plain lines and then assign the color. So this a uh, color number. Eight. If you click on that dark gray, that's color number eight. And then the line type is phantom. So we're going to go back to load, scroll through. These are in alphabetical order, so you're going to scroll down, find the phantom, hit OK, click on phantom, hit OK, and then the line um, the line weight for this one is 0.6. So 0.6 isn't on that screen right there, so you're going to have to move your dialog box down your slider bar over there, move that down, and 0.6 will appear. And that's it right there. So continue finishing the rest of those, and then we'll um, get started on our title box.